on Mets Weekly. We size up how the Mets have played against the NL East and the hurdles they'll have to leap to play in October. I hold divisions better, so it, it makes for a lot more interesting going down the stretch. Plus, a look back on the team that shoulda, woulda, coulda, the 1988 Mets. It turned out that in the era, we didn't know we didn't know it at the time, was, was about to end. Mr. Met hits up the wedding circuit. From the moment he got there to the moment he left, he was just getting hounded by everybody. Still to come on Mets Weekly, Mr. Met rocks the house at a wedding. From the moment he got there to the moment he left, he was just getting hounded by everybody. Hey, and welcome back to Mets Weekly. So your brother is a diehard Mets fan and is about to get married. What's the best gift to get him? Well, how about the gift of Mr. Met? Well, Mr. Met at Pinty and Pooja's wedding has become a big hit on YouTube, and we caught up with the guys that put it all together. All right, my name is Omar Javeri. George Chaco. And uh, what we did is we got Mr. Met himself, the real Mr. Met, to actually come to my brother's wedding and surprise him. And to uh, capture the moment so that everybody could uh, feel and experience what we did at the wedding, I put the video on YouTube for everybody to enjoy. About 13,000 hits later, I think it's uh, pretty popular. So basically, uh, me and my brother are both in Queens, huge Mets fans growing up, and I wanted to do something different. Uh, I wanted to get him something that he would always remember. I thought this would be the, the best wedding gift. And pretty much it would have been either, you know, he would have loved it or I wouldn't have been in the family anymore. So I thought it was a little risky. And after talking to my buddy about it, he said, uh, he said we should do it. So at about four o'clock, uh, we're, we're doing the ceremony part of the wedding. And I still don't know if he's definitely coming or not because I haven't talked to him for like a week. And I get a text message and it says, you know, I'll be there. I talked to him. We kind of figured it out, all right, he's definitely gonna be here. He's definitely coming at seven o'clock. I was the only one that knew at the wedding of about 500 people, so what we did was Mr. Matt came to the video room and I uh, let him go up to my uh, room to get changed, get ready, put his makeup on. And uh, I told him to stay in the room until about 10 minutes before showtime. I told him to text message me. Uh, he surprised me he could handle our phone pretty well. And big fingers at him. And so when we were outside the lobby and I was listening to his speech and I was talking to Mr. Matt, I said, you know, I'm going to open the doors. As soon as I open the doors, just go right straight. Uh, to the bride and groom, they're straight across the room, can't miss them. From the moment he got there to the moment he left, he was just getting hounded by everybody. Well, basically, I mean, it's, it's pretty much uh, contemporary Indian music. It's called Bhangra. And, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of girls nowadays, they dance to it and they work out to it. It's becoming like the new, like, salsa, I guess you can call it. You know, we didn't even want to play it, but Mr. Met requested it. Yes. Actually, Mr. Met is a huge, huge... He's Indian, actually, I think. <laughs> I think that, that one scene where it's just like 500 Indian people and this one big white ball yeah. is just the most ridiculous thing ever. The fact that we put it on YouTube and, and he did a great job putting this thing together. Uh, I mean, what, 13, 15,000 hits? It's, it's ridiculous how popular this it's thing is. It's pretty funny. The night was great. He, he danced. He, he partied. It was an awesome night. So definitely get Mr. Matt for the wedding or for any function. He's booked for a while now. <laughs>